So let me get to the problem. I have a R9 280X and my problem was that every time I was playing a game and watching a video at the same time, the graph card will do some bug and it will drop the image Z to a state point. When I'm gaming my graph card is supposed to get 1000 MHC of GPU processment and 1100 MHC of memory clock. But when a video is being watched or may I say processed by the graph card, there's a config on the BIOS of the graph card that states that the graph card has to drop the processment and memory clock to a standard value. So when I'm playing a game and watching a video at the same time, uh, the graph card doesn't care about the game, They're, they only focus on this config. This happens to several AMD cards. Uh, it's a bug involving the UV, UVD, which is the Unified Video Decoder of AMD. And it's basically what I have said. Whenever a video is being played but a game is playing also, AMD doesn't give a shit about your game. It's, it will stuck the MHC at some point and we, you you lose FPS on your gaming. And this have bothered me so much because I have a paper engine on my computer. And even that the software uh, allows a way to stop the video playing on the background, it doesn't fix the bug with uh, UVD of AMD. Uh, the video is still playing, uh, being processed by the graph card, but it is only paused. So the only way to return the MHC to normal is to close the video or in this case the software. And you will also have to reboot the driver. This is one of the fix that I found. This is the safe one. The second one and the one that I use, I will show next on the video. So the first fix that I found is to go to device manager and look for the driver of the graphic card. So you will need to disable the, the driver and after the driver is disabled, you will need to enable the driver again. This will somehow fix the bug and the graph card will understand that uh, now you have a game open and you want to play a game and not uh, have the MC Redux to watch a video. But this is not a, he a really good fix because you have to reboot the driver, some games will crash uh, on the operation and it's really as we say in, in Brazil a gambiarra. The other fix that I found and I'm really using is uh, to edit the BIOS of the graphic card. This may be dangerous to your graphic card, uh, do at your own risk but it's the only way to really fix that bug caused by AMD because what reduced the AMD is as um, I have said the UVD uh, controller that is located on the BIOS of the graphic cards so the only way to really fix it is to redefine the parameters of the BIOS and change the values of the the UVD controller to the normal MHC of MHC of your graphic card. So first off, you need to find the BIOS of your graphic card. My graphic card is a XFX R9 280X, and you can find the BIOS by typing on Google and going to the Tech Power website. You will find pretty basically every every version of the BIOS of your graphic card here below, below so there it is there are a lot of versions of the BIOS and you need to find the right one for your BIOS so you need to find the right version of your of your of your graphic card BIOS otherwise it's, it may bug your graphic card and you may screw her and don't get any video anymore so the way to find what version of the BIOS you have, you will need GPU-Z. Uh, it's a program also by Tech, uh, Tech Power Up, and the link is in the description of the video. After you download the software, you can go to BIOS version and check the number. So you can see here that my BIOS version is that, and on the Tech Power website, there's two of them. 
So I know my card is the double dissipation and black black edition. So I'll download this driver. Drivers no driver no I'm sorry, BIOS. And after you download that BIOS, uh, you need to get another software. This software will edit the BIOS. And as you can see here, my GPU has tight as a code name or type or whatever. But this is important because if uh, your graphic card has a different code name, uh, like I don't know, whatever, other name than tight, you need to find some software to edit your, your specific graphic card type. But if your graphic card is tight, the software you can use and I have used is VBE7. The link of the software is also in the description and after you download it, you can open the BIOS you have downloaded before. Mine is here. He may show this warning to you also, but there's nothing important here. You can click OK. So here are some informations of the BIOS. Here's is the important part, power play. Here is where the graphic card uh, processment and memory clock, everything is controlled. On this menu, you can see that it has three states. One is boot, when the computer is booting and starting Windows. The second is performance, is it's when it's gaming or, I don't know, something is getting the graphics to really work, the graphic card to really work. And the third one is OVD. This is our problem guy. Uh, so click on OVD and on the state of UVD, you have to cha change the last car clock and memory clock and VDCC to the same values of the state of performance and the clock of position zero. So my graphic card uh, has a state of 1000 uh, core clock, 1500 memory clock, and VDCC of 1200 uh, volts, uh, I think this is. Uh, so what you will do is put the same values on UVD. So core clock, mil, sorry, uh, 1000, and the memory clock you want to put the same so 1500 and vdcc also 1200 so after you have done that you can do save and uh, put any name so the program will, sh will remember you to keep your original BIOS in any case if this BIOS uh, may provoke some instability on your graphic card, uh, just click OK and you can close the program. Now you will have to download some uh, driver to update the BIOS of your graphic card. So AMD graphic cards has a spec specific specificated program and this specific specificated program is ATE Flash. ATE Flash can also buy, be downloaded by te on the Tech Power Up website. I will leave the link on the description of this video. So after you download the program, you will need to run as an administrator the ATI Win Flash. Otherwise, it will show you a message. This message will ask you to run on administrator privileges. So run on administrator privileges. So here you will have some uh, menu to choose what graphic cards you want to update. If you have more than one, I um, have only one. So here it is. And here's some information about the BIOS you actually have. And here about the new ones. So there's nothing uh, in them. Click on load image. Uh, find the BIOS we have edited before. Here it is. And here is the information. As you can see, it's the same model, everything. Just press the middle button.
So the program the program will erase the or the BIOS on the graphic card and put the new one that you have added it. Uh, it's important to not turn off the computer during this, uh, during this procedure because if your graphic card doesn't have a switch to or a double BIOS or something like that, you may fuck up your graphic card, so don't turn off your computer. Afterwards, the program will show this message, uh, ask, uh, informing you that it was suce successful uh, doing the the BIOS update, we just press OK, and it will ask you to reboot the system. After you start your computer, your graphic cards will never more get about the standard values you have put. Uh, so, on even if you are watching a video, the a video the graphic card will uh, state the values as before. So now I can play a game and also have Wolverine Engine running on the background. So as you can see here, I'm running the Wolverine Engine on the background and I'm also running the benchmark feature and running some YouTube video and the graphic card will not get below 1000 MHz and uh, 1500 MHz of memory clock. So this is a pretty good fix, but I will not recommend uh, to do that if your graphic card uh, gets, I don't know, right temperatures and if you don't want to uh, lose your graphic card warranty, 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 I don't know how to really express the word, but that it is, uh, you will no longer have problem with the UV debug on the on your AMD, and this was my tutorial. When I found that bug, it was very hard and painful to uh, find all this information to really fix the graphic card. But I, I have seen through, through my search uh, on Google that a lot of users have this problem, but no one really have done a video explaining how to really fix it. Uh, so that it is. Um, Sorry about my bad English, uh, I'm Brazilian and well, I hope you have, I hope this video have helped you to get your graphics working again and any questions, uh, leave them below, I will try to answer them and valeu!